Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. This video is going to be a quick tutorial. We're going to try and show you something in less than five minutes and we're going to start producing a series of videos that are quick tips for using Excel and all of these videos will be set up in a new playlist and they will be all less than five minutes along. So what are we going to look at in this video? Well, in this video, we're going to look at scalable vector graphics and 3D models in Excel. So we're looking at some kind of artwork and designs that you can add to your spreadsheet. But before we get stuck into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit that notifications button so you never miss another video again. You'll also find below the video a link to my website. Please do hop over and say hello. So let's get stuck in and let's have a look at scalable vector graphics and 3D models. Excel 2019 and Excel 365 now support scalable vector graphics and improved 3D modeling images. In line with the scalar vector graphics, the icons have been improved and there's now 500 new icons available that you can search into your Excel workbook and these are available across the whole of the Office suite. In addition to having them just available, you can also search, so let's say chart, and it'll give us all the different type of chart vectors that are available. Or if we say telephone, it'll give us all the different types of telephones. By selecting one, we can then quickly insert it to our Excel workbook. And because these are scalable vector graphics, that means when you expand them, that they will not lose any resolution and they will not become pixelated as they did before. Don't forget with accessibility to add alternative text and you can also change how these things actually look. So you can change the graphic feel if you want to change the graphic feel, you could change the outline and so forth and make these look a little bit more the way you want them to look. Also, if I was designing some sort of imagery within Excel, I would tend to remove the grid lines too. Now, in addition to these icons and these scalable vectors, we also have improvements to our 3D modeling. We can add 3D models, so you can upload a model from a file. So if you are an engineer or an architect, and you're doing workings in Excel, you can upload 3D models into Excel. You can also select from your online source. Now, when you select from your online source, there's a lot of models available for you to play around with. For example, there are animated animals. If you take a look at the animated animal, so because they're animated, we know that these are going to actually move. So I'm going to insert that one to Excel. Again, this is working. You need a connection for the internet to work, and my connection is really, really slow. So once it goes in, you can see it there on your worksheet. You can make it a little bit bigger. Now, what's great about this is the rotating ability that's now available when you're working with 3D models in Excel. As you can see, you can rotate this whichever way that we want to rotate it. And it is animated, as we say. There are other static ones as well that you can use. And I put some in here to a different page. And again, you can just rotate these the way you want them to look in your actual workbook or your worksheet. And if I were doing that again, I would remove the grid line. So that is 3D models and scalable vector graphics. 